Here are some game breaking bugs Nikita has to look into. Some of these bugs are a detriment to your gameplay so I'm letting you know how to avoid them. And some of these bugs are abusable. You really shouldn't abuse them. Instead, you should take this information and watch out for people using them against you and try to avoid the situation. But who am I to tell you what to do? Bug number one is unavoidable, so you'll be abusing it whether you like it or not. Running any zoom optic on streets will remove all fog in the scope. This does not work on a 1x, because a 1x uses a single render, so no red dots or hollows. Using an optic with zoom will render the game a second time through your optic, and the second render is what's bugged. This seems to be only happening on streets, I've yet to notice it on other maps. Bug number 2, Hands Occupied. This seems to be happening very often in squads when loot sharing. There are three variations of this. Going from simple to complicated, the first one happens when you try to consume an item that's already being used. This will put you in a permanent drinking or eating animation, but it can easily be fixed by consuming something else in your inventory. The second version is a third person visual bug. Not sure how to reproduce this, but sometimes my teammates or even scabs will have the hands occupied pose. However, everything operates fine on their end. They can still shoot, reload, and use items. This is only a visual bug. Third and final version is the full hands occupied bug where your hands are desynced, and only a game restart will fix the issue. If you pick up a weapon dropped by a teammate along with mags, and you try to right click reload through your inventory, but you close your inventory before the reload animation is finished, then you can't reload or use items, but you can still shoot. This is easily reproducible, but doesn't happen every time. This can only be fixed with a game restart. Okay, on to our next bug, awaiting session start. This one is old, but it's been happening way more often in this wipe more than any other. If you get stuck on a waiting session start during an ongoing game, so let's say you're scav, when you're reconnecting because you crashed or something, or you're spawning late, just give it 30 seconds or so. If you're not loaded in by then, restart your game. Usually you encounter this bug when your game crashes or you disconnect. It's caused by your client desyncing with the server during your loading screen. Some people have had success using the clear cache option in the launcher, but it has not worked for me. Okay, next up we're getting into abusable exploits in-game. There has been culling issues all over Tarkov for years now. If you position your character correctly, you'll be able to see through select objects to check for enemies. This has always been in the game, and generally is more of a hassle than it is useful, but since mid last wipe, or at least that's when I've started noticing it, if you stand next to a closed factory gate door, it's invisible. This is super easy to abuse. It doesn't require some weird lean or prone movement. All you have to do is stand close to the door and it disappears. Don't abuse this, it just leads to unfair gameplay. Just know that it exists, and if you see a suspicious closed gate door on factory, assume someone may be behind it and adapt your gameplay accordingly. On to our fifth bug. There has been some well needed nerfs to painkillers this wipe, but some of these changes are just too much. The sharpening effect has been removed, and in place of that is a desaturation of colors and blurring on the sides of your screen. It also does not remove visual debuffs from pain and tremor. Not removing visual debuffs from pain and tremor? Understandable. Color desaturation causing enemies to be harder to spot? Also understandable. But making two thirds of your screen blur is stupid and far too big of a nerf. It's nearly impossible to spot players along the blurred edges. And you know what's worse? Similar to the Alton window being wider on ultra wide monitors, the blurring effect also extends a fixed distance. Meaning, you're forced to buy an ultra wide to maintain the ability to spot players past the center 4 inches of your screen. So is that the bug? No. Next time you take a painkiller, pop settings, check chromatic aberration, hit save, pop settings back up, turn it off, and hit save again. Hoggling chromatic aberration removes the blur effect on the edges of your screen. If you can't afford to buy an ultra wide, this exploit is how you can get past Nikita gatekeeping the ability to see behind buying expensive hardware in real life. Hopefully BSG will remove the blur in the future, but for now this is what you'll have to do. Our last bug, when abused, allows you to quest at night without MVGs and you'll still be able to see. You'll need a flashlight with two or three modes. It gets confusing if you run something with multiple modes like a debow. Mount your flashlight on your helmet. If you have a three mode light like the X400, you'll need to run both flashlight and laser on. Once you're on the correct flashlight mode, mount the light back on your gun. Your light should be turned on on your client. But for other people on the server, the X400 should be on laser only mode, while the WMX200 should be on IR mode. My flashlight is off, right? You have a laser on. But on my screen, the flashlight is on. 
Toggling the module will resync the device back to the server, so do not touch anything after bugging it out. Don't turn it off or toggle the mode. Running a light similar to the X400 will allow you to flashlight during night raids without notifying the entire map, because it'll be desynced to laser only on their end. It's not much of an advantage in fights because you're blinding nobody, and it's very likely your opponents will have NVGs, so having an actual light is the real advantage. Abusing this will only ruin the fun of no NVG night raids for yourself. As always, thanks for watching. Like if this helped, subscribe for more. Check out my other socials here. The rest of the vid is going to be a Pepega no laser early wipe fight. Unfortunately, my mic wasn't recording, so you don't have my comms. Do enjoy it, and see you in a bit. Oh, it made on my ass. Um, all the way at edge, uh, the door all the way at edge left. Door all the way at edge left. He threw a nade and went back in. I'm gonna do an advanced technique, okay? You just keep watching. I think there's two.